Some months ago, I reviewed Topaz Video Enhancer AI. It was then version 1.8. I found that the software was a worthwhile investment, and that was for video footage with a reasonable original detail. But I was somewhat disappointed about the results for low-res, standard-definition DV camera footage. And I must say, the fault does not all lie with Topaz, as the footage I used was very blurry and extremely low quality. It was clear that the footage just didn't have enough original detail for the Topaz software to make any sense of it. Topaz has released a new version of their video enhanced software, and that's 2.2, and I wanted to see if there's any obvious and perceivable increase in quality for that low-res DV camera footage that we used. In this video, I'll compare the previous 1.8 results with the newly released 2.2 version. I'll also look at the new features of the updated version, particularly the compare option and the new settings for compressed, blurry and noisy original footage. I tried that older version of Topaz again, and these are the results that can be compared with the new 2.2 version using the same footage. These are the settings for Topaz 1.8, and if we look here, these are the options, and we're going to use the LQ model, and we'll set the format to ProRes. And if you look here, we can see that there's a certainly more detail in the dress. There's more detail in the words for the new illusion. There's more detail in the shirt on the right hand side, the lead guitarist. Definitely more detail on the areas underneath that are darker. So let's just stop that for the moment and we'll change the input and we'll change it to high definition. The left hand panel indicates what we're seeing from the original piece of footage. And there it is reproduced in a preview on the right. And certainly there's good detail change there. So let's try it at 4K now. We'll stick with the LQ. And let's preview that. And it certainly has detail change. And I think looking at it, it's just overdone it a little. So maybe the best setting for the old version it was 1920. And I feel more comfortable with that. Now let's compare that with the new version 2.2. But first I'm going to run through some of the new features, particularly the ability to compare a number of different settings. And this is a really nice feature that gives free frames and short previews of the different settings all in one screen. Because of the new features though, the interface is almost like using a completely different piece of software. So 1.8 users will need to reorientate themselves. Let's run through the new interface. You select the AI model at the top right of the screen. You can choose whether you want to manually select your own model, and that's all, or use the suggested models that Topaz offers. When you use the suggested options, you can then pick the type of footage so that Topaz can narrow down its suggestions. And for this exercise with the DV camera footage, I'll use low quality video and progressive video as the file I'm using has already been converted from interlaced. The next selection is the video artifact type. I'll try different options here so you can see how the results compare. But for now, let's select Blurry, and below you can see Topaz has recommended several different models. This is where the big change comes to the fore. Press the Compare button, and you'll see different models in a 4-up view as free frames. You can zoom into those views by scrolling on your mouse. And you can change the one outlined in blue by selecting the different models. And note, Compare is only available for suggested models. If you'd selected the All models, the Compare option's not there. Next down are the Size options. And currently it's set to SD, which is the format of my original DV camera footage. 
If you change that to a different format, let's say 16 by 9, you'll see a selection box in the original and the wide format in the suggested views. And that's if crop to frame option is selected. The next is grain. Whether you want some natural grain added to your image. And for this exercise, I've turned grain off as I'm trying to remove as much grain as possible. The next choice is the output options. And new here is the choice of ProRes 422, as well as the previous H.264 and single frame options. Let's now find a setting to compare with the results from the Topaz 1.8 version. I'll select the blurry model and compare. I'll select 4K and then the ProRes HQ output. And for the preview, I'll choose to render 200 frames so we can see the difference over a reasonable amount of footage. Now press preview. You'll see the frames that are rendering in the center of the window. And when you press stop, the views will play in real time or you can let it run for the full 200 frames that I'd selected. I think 4K has overdone the enhancing and it's resulted in a cartoon look. So let's now look at the 1920 by 1280 output. And I think this is too much overdone as well. You can change the view for comparison by selecting the preview menu. I'll use split screen for now. So finally, the 1280 by 720 output. It's fully rendered, so I'll change the view to side by side. And this is certainly better. And lastly, I'll now compare the results with the 1.8 version to the new 2.2 version. The 1.8 version is 1920 by 1280. And the 2.2 version is 1280 by 720. I'm sure from what I see here, the new version has done a better job with that old blurry DV camera footage. So that's it. And I have to say, I really like the new comparison option. And particularly for the enhancement of old SD footage, the new suggested models are a real benefit, as are the options for blurry, noise and high compression.